Hey y'all, it's Cami J Official. Welcome to my video. It's Cami J Official, so let's start the show. To my subscribers, listen y'all, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and vibing to my videos. To anybody that is new here, welcome. I do natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle videos. And if you happen to find yourself watching a few videos of mine, or even if you like this video, I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, y'all, so in today's video, I'm going to be bringing y'all a look, okay? I did this soft glam makeup, so if you want to see how I achieved this look, go ahead and stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, so we are going to be starting off with the star of the show. Let me tell you how I stumbled upon this Maybelline Fit Me blush. It is in the color 55. It's in the color Berry. And I only paid $6 for this. So y'all yeah, will have links in the description box for this because the blush is like totally and completely bomb. I'm telling you right now, if you don't have this blush, you need to go ahead and get it. So I'm going to swatch it for you just so you can kind of see the color payoff. Maybelline definitely did a little thing thing when they made this blush. This Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush, I paid 99 cents for this. I got it at Walgreens and we are going to begin to pack on the actual blush. And yes, we are going to be using this blush as our eyeshadow. We're just gonna be using this blush. Like I said, this is going to be the star of the show. And I just wanna show you like how creative you can get with just using one color. And if you're the type of person that you're kind of like intimidated by using a whole bunch of different colors in the palette, then honey, this is the look for you. But yep, you're gonna to continue to just go ahead and pack that on to your eyelid to build up the intensity of the blush color. And this is what we are looking like here. Now I'm going to use this other Wet n Wild crease a brush. I got this again for 99 cents at my local store. And you're going to just pack that on that brush and you're going to begin to gently blend that in an upward motion towards your brow bone and this is important to do y'all because what this is going to make the eye look do is kind of like blend out any harsh lines that you have from when we laid down the initial blush color on our eyelid so you're just going to keep on blending that out and buffing it out until there is just nothing but seamlessness there between you know where you laid that original blush down and your brow bone so you can bring it up as much as you want to I typically tend to want to bring the colors just right below the brow bone so that way it just gives a little bit of room and space between my brow and the actual color so keep on blending blend for your life now we're going to be using this morph boom highlighter this is on sale for ten dollars and i really like the color for this one so i'm just going to take this little tiny brush and we're just going to work on the inner corner the inner corner is just going to bring some brightness to the inside of your eye so if you're ever looking to like spruce up your eye look add a little bit of you know shimmer to the inner corner and again i didn't want to have to use different palettes because i really want the blush to be the star so now we're going to take that same highlight and we're going to bring it directly underneath our brow bone to highlight that so it's going to make our arch look even higher and it's going to bring even more like definition between the color that we laid down and the brow bone. So this is going to pretty much like chisel everything out and really allow your eye brow to pop even more. Now I'm going to be using my Max Fix Plus spray. We're gonna move on to the skin part. Just going to put that on and then I'm going to move on to the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is going to serve as my moisturizer and primer. You're going to then go ahead and dot that on your face to begin the process of getting your face ready to be moisturized for me it's just super important to have that moisture this is really what's going to allow your foundation to blend the best into your skin never try to put foundation on dry skin no matter how oily you may think your skin may be you still need to go ahead and moisturize it now i'm going to be using my foundation i'm going to be using the nars radiant foundation shake that bad boy up and I'm only going to use one pump of foundation, y'all. Now, if you are the type of person you want a fuller coverage look, then you are more than welcome to use two or three pumps of foundation. But for me, when I think about soft glam, I think about like soft looking skin and skin that pretty much looks like skin even with foundation. So after doing that, I'm going to use this round foundation brush. 
and lightly spray it with some setting spray just to add more moisture to the brush and now I am going to blend that foundation in so I just want to show you how I am blending the foundation in. I'm just taking my time to make sure that I really work it into the skin the better you work your foundation into your skin guys the better the foundation will look and the more skin like your skin will look even with foundation on so i'm going to fast forward through this next part because i really am making sure to blend it in again for this soft glam look i want my skin to look as much like skin as possible so that means making my foundation and my skin one entity okay making sure that it is blended until it cannot be blended any more so i'm just going to continue to do that and this is what my face looks like with the foundation all the way blended in now moving on to concealer i'm going to be using my mac 24 hour concealer in the color nc50 i love this concealer it does not crease on me and i like the color so i'm going to put that right underneath my eyes i know some people like to highlight with a color that's like three four shades lighter i just like this type of highlight a nice little subtle highlight and then i'm going to put it in all the areas i would like to highlight and bring attention to and of course here we are on the struggle bus with me barely being able to like draw a straight line down my nose this is like the worst part for me i struggle so bad with being able to draw a straight line down my nose but anyway i'm going to use this beauty blender and we are going to begin to blend this concealer all the way in again you want to take your time to blend because the better you blend your concealer in just like with your foundation y'all the better you blend it in the smoother and more seamless your makeup is going to look blending is a huge part of having a successful makeup application so make sure you take your time to do that but y'all look at the coverage of this concealer like i love it this is my all-time favorite so now we're going to fast forward here i'm just going to fast forward me blending in the concealer every single place that i put that so make sure again you take the time to blend that out and blend that in and using just gentle bouncing movements this is the best technique that works for me and my concealer always comes out looking like bomb when i do it this way Now, after you have literally blended like your life depends on it, we're going to now move on to the setting powder. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier setting powder in the color Honey. And as y'all can see, I do not like to use a lot of setting powder under the eye. I have dry skin and if I use too much setting powder, I'm gonna look a cakey mess. So I tap off the excess and just use a tad bit of setting powder. And as you can see with my angle brush, I take that setting powder and I literally begin to push it in to the skin so that it and the concealer become one. And I'm going to repeat the process for every single place on my face where I laid any type of concealer down. Now I'm going to get on the struggle bus once again because we don't have to draw a straight line down the nose. So now I'm going to move on. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to be using this bronzer in the color Mahogany. And now I'm going to use the Sonia Kushik contour brush. This brush is bomb, it was $10. Take a little bit of that on the brush because you're not gonna need too much and just begin to blend in that contour right in between the hollows of your cheek. Now, if you want to have a more aggressive contour, you can, but I like mine to just stand out just a little bit because it's a soft glam. So I want it to look, you know, a little bit more natural as it blends into the skin. Now we're going to take a little bit more of that bronzer and we're going to bronze the perimeter of our face, just bringing warmth into our face to make it so that we don't look like we're wearing a mask, right? Like you don't want your foundation to be going all the way up into your hairline without removing any type of demarcation by using the bronzer. So this is the technique that I use. Next, we're going to quote unquote cut the cheek. We are going to make sure that our contour stands out from the rest of our face. So taking some setting powder, as you can see, I'm going to use that to draw a line directly underneath where I put the contour and let that sit for a little bit. Now it's time for the blush. If I tell you again, y'all, I love this blush. Like 
It is so bomb, it blends so easily, and just look at the color against my skin. I love it, it's so complimentary to my skin tone. But you're just gonna to wanna to tap a little bit on a blush brush and just begin to work it into your skin, gradually moving it in a upward motion. And any excess that I have on that um, brush, yes, I am gonna go ahead and blend that into the hairline. Now we're going to get to the highlight part. So you're just gonna take a little bit of the highlighter, lightly tap it in, and then sweep it to the high points of your cheek. And this is just a little trick that I use to make the highlighter look more blended and natural. Just take your finger and press it in to the skin. Now I'm going to take my other brush and I'm going to wipe away any places where I have any excess setting powder because we're going to be moving on and finishing the rest of our face. I'm going to be using this white eyeliner by e.l.f. and I'm going to line my waterline. If you want your eye look to look more innocent and to make your eyes look brighter and whiter and just giving you that soft look, then this white eyeliner is definitely a thing that you want to use. And now we're going to use that blush again. I told you this is the star of the show. Using that blending brush, we are going to now tap a little bit of that and we are going to buff that in right under the eye. So this is just going to bring more cohesion to the look and just bring more depth to the overall eye look. Now we're just going to briefly contour our nose. I just took a little tap with that contour brush and gonna tap that right there. Now we're going to get the Fix Plus Spray again and we're going to set our face. I'm just fanning it so that way we can go ahead and get that taken care of. Now grab any type of black eyeliner that you have and you're going to lightly line your eyes. You do not want a thick eyeliner look because you're going for the soft glam. So you want the eyeliner to be as close to the lash line as possible. So I'm just gonna show you quickly here how I do both of those. Now we're going to move on to the lashes, honey. This lash pair is called Sophisticated. I got this from rjelegance18.com. She is a black owned business owner and a YouTuber. So go to the description box and support her, y'all. Her lashes are indeed bomb. Now we're going to get the mascara. Any mascara that you want to use, we're going to just prep our eyes to receive the eyelashes. So I'm going to do the top and the bottom. If you want your eyes to really pop when you do any type of look, you gotta get the mascara going on the bottom lashes. Now I'm just gonna put on some chapstick because we don't want no ashy lips. And I'm going to be using the lipstick called Teddy Bear. This is from Milani Cosmetics, $5.99. Again, everything will be linked in the description box below. I like wearing this because I do not require having to use a lip liner. Just put it on your lips. And now I'm going to be using the Fenty Lip Gloss. You can use a lip gloss from the dollar store. Y'all don't need to use this specific lip gloss. So after this, y'all, the look is pretty much done. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and clicking the notification bell so you know whenever I post more videos. But have a blessed day, and thank you for joining me, y'all. See you next time. Bye.